And then so Nigerians, so listen to this, everybody in Nigeria. You know, you cannot just sit down eh, and be complaining. You have to stand up and do something. When they called for this um, protest the other day, a lot of people didn't come out. And the protest failed. I'm living with a transport. Okay. Yeah, 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 I'm a transporter. Okay. So it's very it's not easy. So it's not easy at all, at all, at all. Okay. So like me now, I'm a family man. I have a wife, five children. So at the end of the day, because of the fire issue. So if I close self, so nothing they follow me go out. So it's not easy at all. Maybe government just look after that for us. Okay. So make them just look what they can do for us because we are crying. We are so we are suffering. A lot of people are suffering, we are suffering. So because passing that when with the car itself, all of them say they are complaining. But then the price when we they give them because of the fair when we sell the buy. Okay. Because it's not easy for all of us. Okay. Please make it just which area you they always drive to? Me, I'm operate for Use. I'm living in Kuba, I'm operate for Use, Use Banes, Use Amingo. So on time I will carry drop for Use. Okay. You how many liters do you they buy every day? Every day now, we only buy four of uh, 17,000, 20,000 a day. At the end of the day, when I close, the money when I will, will follow me go house, it won't pass 5,000 or 6,000 as one time, not 4,000. As profit? As a profit, it won't pass 5,000 or 3,000 naira. So, and then you know, so to be in that way, for me to buy four of 20,000 naira, the carry 3,000 or 4,000 naira, go house. I'm a family man. Getting to house, the, the problem when I will carry give me for house, I will go more than the money when I carry go house. So, I want to survive. And then we know one join arm robber, no one join bad, bad gang. So we don't want to carry guns. So please make them just please us. Make them just look after us and then do their best to just let us enjoy our country. So we are suffering, really suffering. Up and down. See us for kill now. So we are here now, more than two hours. So as we are here more than two hours, the police have never start to say. You don't walk around. Many of them they are closing, they are no safe because of the price where they won't put on it. So make them just look after that and then so and help us and try their best on, on us, you understand me? Because, you know, look at them, see our, our own today. What of our own, our own children tomorrow? Because if our father then do those one, so we know go face with the face today. So we could just try our best, please. Thank so you, they sir. are moving. Thank you, sir. You know, my file is finished. I can't join this queue because I don't have file to queue. I went to Black Market. They said five, um, five liters is 8,000 naira. Five liters and um, yeah, five liters, eight thousand naira. So of course it affects me. How much is uh, how much do, what do we earn daily? So you know, do you know, I don't even know where to start from. First one is let me tell you, Mr. President, if you're listening to me, resign as Minister of of of, of, um, of um, what do you call petroleum. Get a minister. You're too busy. Get a minister. Give someone else the, the portfolio. Let them handle this whole problem. That's the first thing. You the president to resign as a minister of petroleum, continue with your presidency and do your um, your your agendas, you know, continue with your work. But leave petroleum out because obviously uh Obasanjo was a minister of petroleum, they didn't solve anything. Buari came, minister of petroleum, they didn't solve anything. So you should change. You're doing the same thing over and over. It's, you know, that's the definition of madness. You know? So change, resign as a minister of petroleum, then get someone to work with Mele Kari. Mele Kari, well, to me, it looks as if he's doing good work because I'm, they are declaring profit and, and all. So, but so get someone and let them work together and see if they can tackle this thing. And then uh, I understand that um, um, Lango Tell Refinery is starting this uh, yes, month. Yes. Hopefully, I hope it starts. But I call Refinery, I understand, is also starting this month. <laughs> I don't get it why this thing take this long. And I also heard that they, give, they are subletting um, some to two refiners, they are going to give it to a private. Yes, they should give, if, if it's possible to even dash some private citizens, dash, they should even sell. Because government has failed in maintaining this item. They should give it to private, let them, um, let private run it, and let's see whether it could work. Because, you know, it's suffering. I can't even imagine. I understand it's 900 and something naira per liter. Yeah. It's not been easy. It's not easy. Uh, we've been going through this for a while now. The fact remains that, um, uh, in my own case, sometimes when we go out in the morning like this, and we go into our office, without, if we don't have fuel in our cars, definitely we have difficulty. 
and by the time you get to the filling station you'll see long queue so this is affecting us of course the increment also it's also affecting us like a person like myself the increment is affecting me it's draining my parts of course i can't continue to use my car every day so i have to patch with frames but that notwithstanding what we want is availability of fuel in the filling station like myself if there is fuel in the filling station i need to cut myself uh, whatever activities i'm going to do within the city at least i cut it short so that is mine but please let the fuel be available don't even know where we are going now today they will tell you this today tomorrow they will tell you another story this morning i was about to come out i have to buy black market one one thousand naira in my area four liter you understand the fuel attendant the, the lady sells fuel said that the fuel is going to be one thousand naira in the filling state i couldn't believe only to manage with that four liter to town now i said okay let me drive straight to this place to buy because i bought yesterday 600 and 90 something naira so let me come here only to come and see that they were not selling they now after some time we saw that it's 930 naira even though they are not selling but we have to queue with the hope that anytime they sell so the thing is so bad it's affecting us so bad so bad if you tell anybody now because it's not their fault you tell any passenger like now say okay from here to here now the price has changed you they will look at you as if you are trying to inflict pain on them meanwhile it's not our fault you cannot buy fuel 930 naira and somebody will expect you to carry 100 naira. 100 naira cannot buy anything in this our Nigeria again. To be honest with you, it's crazy. It's crazy. And that's why a lot of us are giving up hope in Nigeria. But most of us who know that Nigeria is our only country. We continue to be. So the fuel issue in Nigeria today is something that uh, I don't know what to say, but I will say that it's, it's really worrisome. Very worrisome in the sense that you come out today, you buy fuel at 700. You come tomorrow, you don't see it there to buy. You move around, you see people are selling black market, you buy 1,000 plus. And then when it comes to the commercial drivers, you know, the end users who are the passengers, they don't find it easy. They don't find it easy so you keep on arguing on the in your vehicle about the price about the price and all that and most times these people who are paying the money don't see the cause of the problem they see you who are the driver as if you are the wicked one here but what will you do to maintain the car very high to see the fuel buy a problem when you see the fuel the, the price. Imagine now, okay, now this money will come to buy fuel here now. Six years they have not seen fuel buy. I bought black market yesterday at the rate of 1,200. This morning now we come to this free session now we are told that it has been increased to 930 naira. That's approximately 1,000 naira by official pump price. So for you to get 10 liters of fuel, you are spending approximately 10,000 naira. And you are converting people, how much do you charge them? So it's very, very worrisome. So government should know what to do. For me, as a person, I believe that Nigeria has far, we have gone beyond this. We shouldn't be at this level. In 2024, a country that is blessed with multiple natural resources, crude oil inclusive. I don't know, Nigerians shouldn't be buying fuel above 100 naira. But today we are buying for 1,000 naira. It's happening. Why do government put a stop to this? It takes a government that has a nation building mindset to do this. But the problem is that we have leaders who just want to fill their pockets and carry what they cannot even use. What does it take to build the refineries in Nigeria? To work. Sometimes ago, I heard that they were arresting illegal, illegal uh, refineries. I said, why arresting them? We have a challenge. If these people have a way of refining the fuel, make it legal. Give them license. Bring them. Since you have what it takes to refine fuel that vehicle can use, let them be licensed so that they will get fuel. How much does it take for Nigerian government to fish the Potaco refinery? the Cardinal refinery and the Wari refinery. 
Dan Kote refinery that has been we had that have been built. We are hearing that they don't give you crude. Why? Please let this government, led by Bola Metinibu, know that the position they are today, they will be remembered tomorrow when they live there. What does he want Nigeria to remember him for when he has gone? All our senators, especially Ababio, who told us that if we go to protest for this bad governance, that he will sit at home eating. If he eat finish now, when he's gone, what does he want Nigerians to remember him for? The name goes with Ababio when he's no longer there. The name Bola Metunibu when he's no longer there. The senators, governors, and those who are piloting the affairs of this country. They should ask themselves, I hope they have children, they have grandchildren. When their grandchildren or great-grandchildren come out tomorrow to face the nation, what will people say about them? When they hear the name of their father, what will people say? They should think of that. Because I know that somebody like Bola Metinibu and his crew have what it takes to feast Nigeria. Nigeria doesn't need much to be feast. He only needs that will and mindset. If they have the will, they, I mean, they flow our blood. They go, I see, they see what their mates are doing over there, developing their nations. They go there, they enjoy it. What does it take for them to bring shame in Nigeria? I am telling them today, let them fish Nigeria refinery. But let them have this at the back of their minds that Nigerian youth have been patient and enduring. Time may come when we will not take it anymore. We will come out to the streets. They can shoot us, but it will come. We've been hearing. For a while now, uh, Podakot, Wari, Kaduna, and even Dangote, who start producing. This one will produce. Dangote, that is a, a private uh, entity. At least, they've started producing theirs. But unfortunately, is yet to start producing PMS. We need the petrol. It's what we a lot of people use petrol. Let the government do something. If there is need for them to support that organization, they should support them. It's our own. It's our country. We we, we uh, extract crude oil. Let us use it ourselves, so that we solve our own problem before others will. We do not export continuously, and at the end of the day, we in this country we don't have the the, the finished product. It's uncalled for. So government you should do something. Let them support them, support the Dangote, and let him at least that one is up now. The worry Potakot and others are yet to come up. The one that is up. It's support.